Welcome to Electron Line. Again, you can end up with an expression like this after you work out a problem, and then the expectation is that we simplify things as much as possible by factoring out any common factors. You have to recognize that there's two terms. Here's our first term, and from that is subtracted this second term. Notice that 3 is multiplied times this, the 3 is multiplied times this and times this. So this belongs as one term, this belongs as one term, and we need to see what's common between those two terms. Well, first of all, you can see that there's a 3 here and there's a 3 there, so we can factor out a 3. And then you realize that there's a 2x squared plus 3 squared and a 2x squared plus 3 to the first power, so we can take out at least the 2x squared plus 3. We can factor out the 2x squared plus 3 term, which is 2x squared plus 3. And then let's see what's left. On the left side, the 3 is gone, and one of these is gone. That leaves us with one more, 2x squared plus 3. And for now, I'll put parentheses around it, realizing that this is the remainder when we factor out this quantity right here. If you're not sure, then you can multiply this back together to see if you end up with the original term. And sure enough, if you multiply this times this, you'll get 3 times the quantity 2x squared plus 3 to the second power, because this times this gives us this back. From the second term, notice we factored out a 3. We factored out the 2x squared plus 3 and we're left with the quantity x squared plus 7. But don't forget there's a minus sign here, so this becomes minus the quantity x squared plus 7. Now we can go ahead and get rid of or simplify what's inside by getting rid of the parentheses and applying the negative sign to everything that's inside here. So this can be written as 3 times 2x squared plus 3 times the quantity 2x squared plus 3, and this negative sign applied to that becomes minus x squared minus 7. Now we can collect common terms in what's inside the brackets here. When we do that, we get 3 times 2x squared plus 3 times 2x squared minus x squared gives us an x squared, and plus 3 minus 7 gives us a minus 4. Now notice this right here. This is, in essence, the difference of squares. This is x squared minus 2 squared, so this can now be factored. So this can now be written as 3 times 2x, whoop, 2x squared plus 3, and this can be written as x minus 2 times x plus 2. Whenever you have the difference of square like this, you, can, you have to write it as the product of two binomials. One of them will be minus, the other one will be plus. Notice when you multiply this together, you end up again with x squared minus 4, which means that this is the final factored form of the expression that we started with. And that's how it's done.